guys, welcome back to another Cyclic Escape video. Slight delay on the release of this one. My wife and I actually went to Williamsburg, Virginia this past weekend and uh, we played some really cool golf there. So that's her bombing a drive. So that was a really good time. If you're ever in that area, would highly advise to go play golf. Um, just some really nice courses around there. So back now in the fish room, 125, still looking pretty good. I did have something um, happen in regard to the to the decorations. Um, so that'll be coming out on a video shortly. Um, that wasn't ideal, but hopefully all, all will uh, be well there. 55, still looking great. Really, really liking this tank. Just looks super clean and the angels just look awesome in there too. And the natural colored angel that I uh, moved in there recently is doing really well too. So I'm incredibly happy about that because he's uh, he's the favorite right now in terms of the angel fish. Um, today we're actually looking at the goldfish tank. I recently did a full video on that. I'll leave it at the top right hand side of your screen right now if you want to check that out. But this is the new goldfish aquarium. I've currently only got two in there. One of them's a Ryukin and the one of them is a Ranchu, I believe. Um, tank's been set up for a few weeks. It's already seeded with some uh, beneficial bacteria from the filters because I just basically rolled these filters over from the previous 40 gallon. Um, obviously, these two are producing probably a little bit more waste um, than what was in the tank previously, but um, I'm certainly doing enough water changes um, on that to keep those nitrates down and my aim is to grow these goldfish out really quick. However, I want one more. So today we're going to be going to the fish store as I believe they just got some new goldfish in. So yeah, let's go. So here we are guys, Wet Pets and Friends in McMurray, PA. This is my local fish store. Actually used to work here many, many moons ago now. Seems like another life. Um, but this is the goldfish section. There's about six tanks relatively filled up. And they've got this really, really cool big boy in here. Or girl, who knows? Probably by the shape, I'd say a girl. Looks a bit chunky. Um, so yeah, they've got some nice ones in here. Some red caparandas is what we are looking for today. So I'm going to hopefully pick the best one out of there. Um, they've got some other Ryukins, some fantails, um, some pearl scales and, and that kind of thing too. Um, if you haven't visited this store and you're in the area, I would definitely advise on it. They've got a plethora of different things and they've got a massive wall of discus and angel fish too. So that's where I get a lot of my angels. Um, but yeah. Picked out the goldfish, strapped her in, and now we are home. As you can see, it is a red caparanda. I sat in front of the tank <laughs> on uh, on a little bucket for a while, picking picking the uh, red cap out. So hopefully, it will be a good addition. We're just gonna float the bag for a little bit, and then we're gonna acclimate the Aranda to our tank's temperature and the water parameters and all that good stuff. I have shown you how to do this before, so I'm not going to show you on this video and waste everybody's time, but I'll leave a card top right hand side of your screen now if you want to see that process. Obviously, we've sped it up for this video and we've added the water from the tank over time. And here we are going to empty this little container into this net and get the Aranda in. So there the red cap goes, looks to be getting acquainted with the Ranchu and the Ryukin. Um, the red cap is a little bigger um, than the other fish in the tank, but I'm sure the others will catch up in no time. And obviously with these fish, I don't need to worry about the aggression either. So just looks to be swimming around and kind of taking in the, uh, the sights of the tank right now. As you can see, I've got plenty of aeration in there, um, which is noted to be incredibly beneficial for goldfish. So. I have been reading up on them and hopefully this will be, uh, be a good change um, and something that I'm really, really looking forward to. So 
In here right now, again, this is just a 40 gallon breeder, maxing out at three fish, and this is all I'm gonna have in this tank um, for the time being. We've just got the Ryukin, the Ranchu, and then the Red Cap Aranda. We're gonna turn the lights off for right now just to let the Red Cap settle in, and then we'll come back to the tank a little bit later. As you can see, it's pretty tricky uh, moving this light with one hand and videoing, but we got it done. Um, in addition to just acclimating them, I'm also going to be adding these two aquarium products. The first one's Melafix. It'll just kind of help to um, chill the fish out. It's got some natural healing properties. It also helps with uh, fin damage and that kind of thing. So I will be adding um, some of that. As you can see, I've got the pond version, which just helps with the amount that you can add. Um, and then I've just got some Fritz uh, bacteria as well. So we'll be adding that, seeing as though we're adding fish to the tank. It'll just help that bacteria um, stay colonized and um, stay in good numbers. So a few hours later, here is the tank and three fish within. As you can see, there are randas swimming around and looking really, really nice. When I first decided to get into goldfish, I decided I wanted a red cap. Um, obviously they do have that when, which is the growth, 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 <laughs> the growth on the top of the head. But you don't have to worry about um, that when and red cap aranda with it covering the eyes of the of the goldfish. Sometimes you do um, with other aranda, and if you follow any of the other um, Instagram or, or YouTube channels that focus on goldfish, you actually have to basically put them under a form of anaesthetic and then kind of cut cut away the when from the eyes so they can see. Um, luckily. With red cap around you don't have to do that as that wen stays above their eye. Um, so that's what really, really uh, enticed me into keeping this specific aranda because I'll never have to do that. Um, with the Ryukins, that shouldn't be an issue. And then with the uh, Ranchu, it shouldn't be an issue either. So my aim for these three is just to get them big and beefy. Um, hopefully get some pretty chunky goldfish. I am going to be doing a lot of water changes on these guys, a lot of feeding. And I've also got the temperature uh, relatively high right now. Um, I've been watching a lot of goldfish grooming videos, so I'm hoping to get these pretty chunky. Um, and then who knows, maybe I'll do a bigger tank at some point. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'll just leave you with a little look at all the goldfish in the tank, uh, probably eating, eating, some, uh, eating some food, and I've got some pretty good clips of that. So if you've liked this video, Make sure you give it a like down below. Comment what you liked about it. Comment which one is your favorite out of these three down in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.